Good morning and welcome to St Luke's. Welcome in the name of Christ. God's grace, mercy and peace be with you and, and also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. And now we take a moment to ponder on those commandments. How well have we done? Thank God for those times when you've been able to be a blessing to others and then come bring to mind those things that perhaps are preventing you from being closer to God. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere heart and true heart. We pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, and, and confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Shall we stand together to say the Gloria? Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And the collect for today. God our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. 
through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Would you like to sit for the first reading? Our first reading comes from Acts chapter 10 and beginning at verse 44. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have been received but who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to, to you, you O Christ. Father God, as we consider your word, Speak into our hearts, we pray. Open the eyes of our understanding and help us to receive the blessings that you offer us today. Amen. Have a seat. Well, last week we heard all about the vine and abiding in him and this passage follows directly on to last week's reading. On verse 16 it says, I chose you. In this pick and mix world that we live in, I don't know about you, but I used to love going into Woolworths and having pick and mix with my pocket money. That seems years ago now, but pick and mix is what we tend to, how we tend to leave, uh, live in our world today. We feel somehow that we have some sort of power or identity if we are able to choose. 
In that very old romantic comedy, You've Got Mail, the character um, Joe Fox remarks something in the lines of this. Shops like Starbucks only succeed because people of no con con consequence feel important because they can make a choice. Cappuccino, latte, tall caramel latte, etc. And we think that we chose our religion and dare to choose the bits we like and mix them together with self-pandering and comfortable religion, with an idol in our own image that we call God. That is what society tends to do more and more, mixing in bits of other religions and, and doing, making a God that suits them. Jesus makes it clear, he has chosen us. He chose us, we didn't choose him. The whole of the Bible and salvation history is the story of God's choice to call us to him. He has called you and me first. We then choose to respond. He calls us as we are. We don't have to be anything first. He's chosen you because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. As Psalm 139 has it, you are unique. You have unique gifts. He's called you to be part of his vine, his church, his body in this life. And that's really important to recognize and to think how you can use your gifts for his kingdom. Be it in church, at work, at the leisure centre doing your press-ups, or whatever it might be, you are there with Christ within you, and he is expressed through your actions, your unique. And in verses 14 and 15, he, he calls us friends, companions. We're not puppets on a string, not his living tools, which was the way that slaves were defined in Greek law. The master remote from the slave, the slave did not know the master's mind. Jesus has called you his friend. A personal relationship to walk with you and talk with you to listen to you and live within you he is glorious greater than we can think or imagine our words can't even describe him we have separate different ways and things to try and imagine him but we can't really get the full breadth and height of him we can't get the full breadth and height of his love. And he wants to know us personally. And he wants us to know his mind, not through any mediator or screen, but through his own actions. By coming to live in our hearts, that's how we can know him and he knows us. And he speaks to us through his word. Jesus, God himself, is our only mediator and advocate. We need no other. And that's why Ascension Day is so important. Because it's then that he raises to the Father. And there he becomes an intercessor for us. Not only has he chosen us and we're his companions, but we're his co-workers. This is his agenda. 
He has shown us his mind. And what is on his mind is love. One love one another as I have loved you. Last week, we called that bearing fruit. We show that Christ is in us and that he loves us by the way we love one another. And he has given us his vision that his kingdom shall come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So at Ascension Day, we're being part of the Thy Kingdom Come initiative, which is going right across the world, when we can pray daily, perhaps for five people that we love, who perhaps haven't responded to Jesus' love. And we pray thy kingdom come in their lives every day until Pentecost. And we pray for the people around us and our communities and our church that thy kingdom will come and thy will be done here, now, in our hearts, in the hearts of our family and our friends. Co-workers have a responsibility. We cannot work on our own. We have to abide in him and allow him to abide in us. He works with us and he gives us all that we need for the task. Loving one another means doing things that often feel like we're laying down our lives for the other. We have to put aside the past, forgive and forget. Every new day as Christ does, forgive, forget and move on. We have to see Christ in others because he's chosen them and he's there made in his image. These aren't glib words to respond, oh how lovely, and then to walk out of the door Rejecting people because they don't do what we want, don't say what we want, they can be noisy or they can be too quiet, etc. That's not on the agenda, rejecting people. The agenda is that we should be full of grace. It's grace that sets us free and grace can do that for others. And we're to share that grace not just keep it in our hearts. So Jesus has called each one of us, chosen us and called us. He's chosen us to be his companions and he's chosen us to be his co-workers. I wonder how you'll respond today. Perhaps you'd like to stand and declare your faith. Together we say, We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. George is now going to lead us in our prayer. In our Gospel reading, we have been reminded that we are to love one another as Jesus loves us. Embraced by God's love and affection for us, let us now 
pray to him. We pray this morning for his church throughout the world, but particularly that part of his church in this place, that we may be enabled to love one another as he loved us. Father, wherever there is friction and conflict in the church, where communities are divided and weakened, give to us a greater longing for your healing and a deeper commitment to forgiving love. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mouth. And let us remember in our prayers this morning those who lead the nations and who make decisions that affect the lives of so many people that they may know, experience God's love. Father, wherever tangled political situations seem impossible to solve, wherever conflicting interests threaten peace, wherever the ears of the powerful remain insulated against the cries of the oppressed, give to us and to them ears to hear your guidance. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. And on this day, let us remember those who are nearest and dearest to us, praying that they will be surrounded by God's love. Father, wherever families are dysfunctional or children are in danger, wherever the daily living conditions are damaging to health and self-respect, we pray for all who are struggling at this time. And we pray especially for our loved ones, wherever they may be, whatever their circumstances, whatever their situations at this time, we love them, we pray for them, and we ask that in their lives, your kingdom and your love may come. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. We're privileged to be able to get up early in the morning and come and worship, but there are many who would love to do that but can't. So let's remember those who are ill and those who are injured and housebound. Father, wherever the ill and injured need comfort and assistance, wherever the elderly and housebound sit each day for hours alone, help us through our prayers and our actions to bring something of your love and your help to them. And out of love in our hearts, we pray today for Margaret Miller and Peg Malpass, Anthony Staples and Anne Bateman, Kate Ramptingham, Gary Pollock, Stephen Bradburn, Teresa and Isla, Victoria Pitton, Karen Hind, Ethel Taylor, Charles McCumber, Eric Farr, Ruan Goodell, Catherine Herschel, Stuart Jacks, Rob Faulkner, Barbara, Eileen, Annie, and Kath Dawson. Lord, we know that you love these people, and we know that you understand their situations. 
we lift them now before your throne of grace and we pray for them as your family here in this place. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, and let us remember with thanksgiving those who have died and pray for those who are on their last journey, perhaps some for whom today will be their last day. Father, wherever people are traveling that last journey of death, may they be surrounded by your love and welcomed into your heaven. And may those who mourn be comforted. In our prayers today, we thank God for the life of Barry Manley. We pray for his wife, Jan, for his family, and all who will miss him in his passing from this world. Jesus, Lord of life. In your mercy, hear us. Father, wherever the beauty of creation reflects your love, may our hearts be lifted to you in thanks and praise. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Accept our prayers and be with us always. Amen. Would you like to stand for the peace? The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also with you and, and each other. other. Pour upon the poverty of our love and the weakness of your praise, the transforming fire of your presence. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give thanks and, and praise. praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You, you embraced, embraced us as your, your children and, and welcomed, welcomed us, us to sit, to sit and, and eat with, with you. you. In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He, he opened, opened his, his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, Father we, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death 
and celebrate his rising in glory. Send your Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we we eat eat and and drink drink these holy holy gifts, gifts, make us one one in Christ Christ our our risen Lord. Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though Though we are are many, we we are are one body. Because, because we, we all share, share in, in one, one bread. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the feast. Alleluia. We say together we do not we presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. God's holy gift for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. For those who are unable to receive communion today, we say, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I am with you always. Be with me today as I offer myself to you. Hear my prayers for others and for myself and keep you in me in your care. Amen. O God, Help me to trust you. Help me to know that you are with me. Help me to believe that nothing can separate me from your love revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer after communion. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, Grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life. 
who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. Together we say, Lord, Lord we, we have broken, broken your bread, bread and received your life. By the power of your Spirit, keep us always in your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the blessing. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you and all those whom you love, now and with me. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Goodbye.